Okay, welcome back. This is uh, part two of a presentation on using a calculator to work problems involving degrees, minutes, and seconds of longitude or latitude in celestial navigation. Now, once again, my name is Chris Kreitlein. I'm a navigation instructor with Globus Horizon, and my email is you can be, contact me at www.globazon.com. Now, in our last uh, discussion on using calculators, I worked through a whole series of problems with this calculator, showing you how to input the, the information. And you'll recall, I hope you've seen that video, that this button right here, labeled degrees, minutes, and seconds, is critical. If you go out to buy a calculator to use in celestial navigation and it does not have that button, don't get it because it's not going to do the job for you. Now we talked last time about entering in degrees, minutes, and seconds. For example, 45 degrees, 25 degrees minutes and 30 seconds. Once again, here's the degree symbol, here's the minute symbol, and here's the second symbol. Now when you enter this in, as I will do right now, we enter in 45, you've got to push the degree button, then 25, you push the degree button again, and then 30, and you push the degree button again. Then you hit equals. All right, now, you'll see once again, it says 45, 45 .425. This, this calculator converts it to decimal places. Now, 45.425 is the very same thing as 45 degrees, 25 minutes, and 30 seconds. They are the same. To convert it back from this 45.425 in decimal, you once again hit the inverse button. On this computer, it says inverse. On other computers, a calculator it says inverse on other calculators it'll say second or shift or who knows what else but it's generally in the upper left corner on a calculator you push that and then push the degree button again and it converts it back to degrees minutes and seconds so that is how you work that go back and take a look at the other video if you're uncertain what I'm talking about okay so I just wanted to make sure that we understood that these convert back and forth from one to the other by simply using the button in the upper left and then pushing your degree button again. Now you can add and you can subtract to this um, as I demonstrated in the last video. So let's turn this one off and let's bring another calculator up here. Now this one is a little easier to use in my opinion. This is a Casio FX115W I got at Walmart for about $14. Now let's enter in 45, and we go up here and push the degree button. Well, that didn't work. I pushed it too much. 45 degrees. And you'll see right up here it says 45 degrees, then 25 degrees, and 30, second, uh, 30 seconds. So... You, if you can see on here, it says 45, it has a degree emblem, a degree symbol, then 25 minutes and a degree emblem, and 30 and a degree emblem. In other words, it's not going to give you a minute and a seconds emblem. They're all just the little tiny circles that mean degrees. So when you look at that, you've got to get it in your head. That's 45 degrees, 25 minutes, and 30 seconds. So that worked out real well. We can hit equals 
and there it is. You see, this did not, this one did not try to give it to you in decimal places. So I actually prefer this calculator to the one we were using earlier because this keeps it in the standard format of degrees, minutes, and seconds. Now we can add 45 degrees, 15 minutes, and 30 seconds up here. We just hit equals, and there you go. There's the answer. We don't have to use this shift button over here to change it from decimals to degrees. It's already there, 90, 41, and 0. But let's just push that button and see what happens. We'll push the shift and the degree button and see what it did. It moved it back to decimals. So this calculator can do it also, but only when you tell it to. So we're going to go back to degrees, minutes, and seconds. So I really like this calculator. This is the one I actually keep on my boat to use because it's a little quicker. We can subtract. Now we're going to subtract. Let's say we subtract 55 degrees, 40 minutes, and 20 seconds. It gave us an answer of 35 degrees, 0 minutes, and 40 seconds. So that's right. Um, so this is a real handy calculator. I highly recommend it. You don't have to be converting back and forth from decimal points. Okay, uh, so you can use this one to do all sorts of adding and subtracting of degrees, minutes, and seconds without too much difficulty. Okay, I'll turn that one off. Now let me show you this calculator. Now this one is a real problem maker. It's a Texas Instruments TI-30X. It'll do everything. But I don't know why they have made it so difficult to use. Okay, let's turn it on, and you'll see what I'm saying here. All right, now let's enter in 45. We come up here. Right here is our degree, minutes, and seconds button. We push that. And it gives you this. Degrees, minutes, seconds, and then it's got R and G. This is radials, and uh, I don't even know what G is. Um, I don't know. Um, it may be, uh, well, anyway. So you have to tell it degrees. All right. So you just push enter because it was on degrees. Now, now let's enter in 25 minutes. I enter in 25. I push the degree button and I've got to use these arrow keys to move it over to the minute button. Then I hit enter. Okay, that worked. Now I do 30. Once again, I push the button. I've got to go way over here to the, the, the two hash marks that indicate seconds. And then I hit enter. So now I've got it in there. That looks great. Let's see what happens if I hit second here. Well, I don't know what the heck it did, see? This is a very tricky calculator you use. Let me show you how we, we add degrees in, on this calculator. 45. Okay, yeah. All right, now I hit plus 45. All right, now I hit enter again. It says 90. All right, I will go down here. Now here, well, once again, I don't know what the heck that thing did. All right. It says 90, but how do I get degrees on it? Well, what I do is I push the degree button. Then I use the arrow up here to go back to where it says DMS, degrees, minutes, and seconds. Then I hit enter. All right. Then I hit enter again, and it finally gives it to me in 90 degrees, zero, zero. So you got to be really careful with this calculator. Let me show you one more time. Let me do another one. Here's 12 degrees, okay, and 45 seconds. 
I've got to use the arrow key to, I mean, 45 minutes to tell it to, for, for minutes. Then I'm going to add 59 seconds. I got to use the arrow key to come over to seconds. So there I have it. Now I'm going to add to that uh, 33 degrees, 56 minutes. I'm going to take the arrow key over there and tell it it was minutes and 45 seconds. Once again, I got to take the arrow key over, hit enter. Okay, now I hit enter again. And it gives me the answer. If you can see that, it gives me the answer in decimal places 46.7122222. Now, to get back, what I do is I hit the, de the degree button again. I take the arrow and I push it to the left, and it takes it to this where it says DMS, degrees, minutes, and seconds and I hit enter. Then I hit enter one more time and there it converts it. So my point is, yeah, this calculator works fine, but you end up making a lot more entries to get it to work. So I really, uh, I don't know why it is that way. Maybe I'm sure they had some reason for doing that. Uh, I don't know what it is though. So I can't recommend this calculator. I much prefer this Casio FX115W because what you enter is what you get and that's what you want. 45 degrees, 56 minutes, 12 seconds. Now once again, you're going to it it keeps giving you these little uh, circles that mean degrees you're just going to have to keep that in your head now this one did give you the degree symbol the minute symbol and the second symbol so if you really are dying for the symbols you can use that one but to me it's just a lot of hassle so i recommend this one okay well that concludes this presentation um, on using your calculator i highly recommend that you Watch these videos and, and use your own calculator um, going through these steps that I've shown you to make sure you understand how to use it so that when you do go to a class on celestial navigation, you'll be ready to use your calculator to work in degrees, minutes, and seconds. If you have any questions, once again, you can contact me at www.globazon.com and I'd be happy to, uh, to answer them for you. Thank you.